In today's show, I visit with Francine Britton, educator, author, and founder of the Active Learning Alliance, and now a mostly retired expat, living in Puerto Vallarta for less than $1,000 per month. We'll visit her apartment that's just half a block from the beach and tour some of her favorite spots in the Zona Romantica neighborhood where she lives. Walking around my neighborhood, even just coming up my stairs, you see a typical Hacienda style building with lots of brickwork, lots of tile work, a great big open air terrace. In fact, the terrace is the biggest space in this building. The ocean is 67 steps away from my front door, so you hear it constantly. And it changes. It changes. In the winter, it's a very rough, loud surf. And in the summertime and springtime, it's much more gentle. So that is constantly in the background as you're walking up and down the street and over to the park and down to the pharmacy or to pick up laundry. And then the street sounds are wonderful. The vendors are all set up on the Malacon. Um, people are just do- going about their business. And then you have the tourists mingled in to this mix, which makes things a little bit louder at times, especially in the restaurants and bars in the evening. But pretty much it's a very gentle lifestyle here. We're in a little tiny part of Puerto Vallarta called Emilio Zapata. It's also known as the Romantic Zone and the Historic Area of Town. I um, have been in Mexico since 2011, starting my 11th year here. This neighborhood is great. I'm actually, when you go out my front door, 67 steps from the beach. I can do everything that I need to do within a four block radius. I sold my car a couple of years ago. It's it's certainly not necessary here. And this is one of the most popular areas of town. The local farmer's market normally sets up every single Saturday during high season. There aren't enough people here to keep it going year round. Uh, My laundry's on the corner, my coffee shop is around the other corner. You can walk the Malacan, which is about two and a half miles long, uh, for a great, great 10,000 steps every morning. Uh, Great life, great, great place. It's called a Novalito, right where I live, right where we're at right now, because the mountain and the river and the ocean all collide, and that's called a Novalito. So it's considered one of the nicest neighborhoods to live in. The landlord's father used to be the first mayor of Puerto Vallarta, and they owned all the way around the corner and sold out to the condominiums, but kept this whole block for themselves. And then these are apartments, these three doors. Behind the Cochera door is a great big hacienda-style courtyard that the mom lives in. Nice. And then I live upstairs and another son lives on the top. And next door is the uncle and the aunt and their kids. And then there's a tenant on the third floor. So um, a lot of gringos have, um, you know, bought the different buildings and rent them out. Mm -hmm. And across the street is another big hotel. Mm and then a couple of really small little homes. And my laundry's on the corner. (laughs) Try to keep everything in a four block radius of Uh my house. How loud is the street during high season? It's not because it's a dead end. Oh, dead end. And there's very little parking. (coughs) And this is quite an upscale restaurant, so it doesn't get a lot of noise. My rent is amazing. (laughs) I pay 9,000 pesos a month for this amazing space. It's totally safe and secure. And depending on where the dollar is, that's anywhere from $419 to $450 a month. And um, it includes all utilities, gas, electric, internet, water. So it's a one payment a month and that's it. It is a deal. And there are many deals around. You just have to be willing to search them out be willing to live in a neighborhood uh, that is a mix of all types of people. And you've got the ocean right down at the end of the street, so I couldn't be in a more perfect spot.
my monthly budget is around four to four twenty five for the rent. Um, I spend about fifty dollars a week on food. Um, my other expenses, I don't have to have a health insurance. I worked for a nonprofit and they provided health insurance for life because I worked in a lot of third world countries. So I'm well under a thousand dollars a month. I want for nothing. I go where I want to go. I eat out. I meet friends. I go to the theater here. I'm always in the shops looking around. So it's, it's uh, easy to do it under a thousand dollars a month. Healthcare in Puerto Vallarta has a couple of different strands. If you are a permanent resident here, you can qualify for the same insurance that the Mexicans qualify for. If you're relatively healthy and under the age of 70, um, and that will run you about $30 a month. And it's you use the state-run hospitals. Private insurance, again, you have to shop around. It can be anywhere from $100 a month to $500 a month, depending on any pre-existing conditions. You can also buy traveler's insurance if you're only going to be here for a year. But if you're planning on being here permanently, definitely look at the state system. I sold my car two years ago. The cobblestones here are very hard and the weather is very hard on a car. When I drove to Mexico 11 years ago in a brand new car, I figured it would be the last car that I would ever buy and I was correct. So um, there's no need for a car when you're living in Puerto Vallarta. To get around, I normally walk. However, about once every three or four months, I'll go to Costco or Sam's Club and I'll take an Uber because I know I'm gonna be carrying things. If I just wanna go exploring other neighborhoods like Cinco de Diciembre or Versailles, I will take a bus. Everything is within a four block radius that I could possibly need, so it's great. Puerto Vallarta is the second safest city in Mexico and it's been this way since the 1950s and 60s when it became a popular tourist attraction. And many movie stars, many people with a lot of money started building houses here. So it's maintained its safety throughout the last 40, 50 years. So yes, I feel extremely safe here and very privileged to be able to walk wherever I wanna walk, do whatever I need to do and there's very, very little crime in downtown. And you don't want to walk around clutching your handbag with a gold necklace around your neck and a very expensive pocketbook because that sets you up. But if you just go about your normal routine, and now I'm so local in this neighborhood that everyone knows me. So that's another safety factor. In Puerto Vallarta, you do not need to speak Spanish. The key requirement for just about every job here is that the employee have some English. However, speaking Spanish is wonderful. I encourage everybody to learn the language. I'm a permanent resident here and I'm bilingual and I find that I speak Spanish to the waiters and to the people at the grocery store and the laundry and they answer me in English because they really want to practice their English. So I don't use as much Spanish here as I did when I lived in Ajijic or on the other coast. This is the first of our lifestyle videos where I talk with real people at their homes, talk about their budget, and share their lifestyle. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more of these types of videos here on Living Overseas TV. I met up with Francine for breakfast at her local coffee shop and joined her for a typical day in her neighborhood. You got your grilled cheese sandwich there? Yeah. Your regular? Yes, my regular. All right. Well, one of the things I like is in this neighborhood is there's so much color. Uh -huh. And so many of these older places that really have taken care of with the original wooden doors uh -huh. and the carved wood, the tile work. And this is super special. The owner built all of this and he has his mom up in the penthouse, the owner of the little cafe. But this is particularly gorgeous. This is a strip that I walk every single day. Um, it's got everything that you can imagine from Serrano's Meat House, which is fantastic for steaks, to the pharmacy, the place that I get my nails done is here. And we're gonna walk and come to a little cafe. 
and an art gallery that's attached to it called Demetro. And the cafe is, uh, you, bu you buy a book, you leave a book. And you get usually end up with a nice little credit towards whatever books you want to buy in the future. Okay, we're at Una Pajina in El Sol, the page in the sun. And you're gonna meet my friend Gina Lopez. Gina is 80 years old. She's been coming to Vallarta for 40 years has lived here by herself permanently for 22 on a very tiny budget and she is dynamite. Hi Gina. Hello. Gina is the manager of Demetro Gallery which is part of Page in the Sun and she works six days a week and very happily sells art. She interacts with all of the artists and can tell their stories so very well. And she's just a joy to meet and know. Sculptor Jim Dimitro is the creator of several of Vallarta's most iconic sculptures. And small versions of some of his work can be found in the gallery. A miniature of the dancers. Vallarta Dancers is one of the most photographed sculptures on the Melacombe and the bronze of a burrow being pulled and pushed by small boys is an icon in the neighborhood park. The gallery also showcases work from other artists, has an area for classes and workshops, and hosts visiting artists as well. And this is Jose Baldi. Hola. He's a visiting artist from Mexico City. Hola. Sharing the same space as the gallery is the bookstore where Francine is looking to exchange her store credit for a book. Are tired of reading the books over and over again? You bring them here, you get a credit, and then you can shop and pick out any book that you want. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books in here. They're in Spanish, they're in English. I saw one in Korean the other day. Um, lots of sci-fi, lots of history, lots of classics. This is a wonderful service. Um, it's like having your own little library right here in a, inside a coffee shop. Quanto cuesta? Ah, okay. Muchísimas gracias. Adios. Hasta luego. Adios. And I used my credit. It was, my book was 140 pesos. I had 200 and. 80 pesos credits, so I can buy another one the next time I come. <laughs> he's, he's a professional dog walker. Oh, that that's why he has it. so many. This is one of the original apartment buildings, condo buildings, that was built to house the incoming tourists about 40 years ago. It's one of my favorites because the architecture is not new, it's just wonderful. One of the magical words in the Mexican language is the Nogalito, and they're rare. It's where the mountain falls into the river, which leads into the ocean. So we're standing at the Nogalito of Puerto Vallarta. This is the Quale, and the mountains are the Occidental Sierra Madres that are in the background, and of course the Pacific Ocean. Okay, we're at the local Saturday farmer's market. It's called Tres gallos y una gallina, three hens and a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is on the little island? Tell me about Yeah, that. this is on the, uh, the island of the River Quale. And the island divides the north part of the city from the south part of the city. Buenos días. Hola, buenos días. Gracias, you too? Bien, también. Thank you. Gracias. So this is or organic here? Totally. Yeah, completely organic herbs and gin fresh ginger fresh red beets, uh, turnips. No must, okay. total bien. How are the prices here for organic? Super, these are um, 15 pesos, so it's about 60 cents, 60 US cents for a big bunch of either coriander or parsley or Thai basil. Oh, you have the, the saboyas. No, these are lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass, lemongrass. Yeah. oh wow. No, I they come in from their uh, farms, from the outlying areas like Boca Raton and El Tuito, Miss Maloya. 
Locally made? Locally made. This is a very, very good organic market. So English is perfect. <laughs> Okay, so where we're gonna go next is uh, my friends Igor and Anne, and they run a service called Can't Stop Cooking for the Whole Village. And they are Americans, but they lived all over the world. So they cook from all over the world. So I usually get three or four meals from them. I've ordered five things for 500 pesos. So this is ideal. Here we've got your chicken and chorizo bake, the shepherd's pie which is actually an English speciality, and salmon lasagna, Chinese uh, chicken and sweet corn soup, and then this is filled with uh, quinoa, rice, uh, stuffed pepper. Very nice. Um, I like your workspace here too. Thank it's a you. Kitchen. And now we'll get the laundry and we'll end up in the office with Mr. Rudy Perfect. and his art. Okay. 39 pesos is about $1.75. And I love it because they iron here too. Oh. So they do all my planchado. Gracias. If you hand that to me, I can carry right. that one too. And we'll head to the office. Okay, this is a beautiful primavera tree. It's the most famous tree in Mexico. It blooms usually in late February, but we're a little early this year. If you would like to know more about living or retiring abroad, or about being a digital nomad, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be notified when our cost of living guides and lifestyle videos are posted. In the description below, you can find a link to our best travel gear recommendations page on our website. And for more information, please visit www.livingoverseas.tv.